All right, folks, Pitching Ace Idiot, and we are back. Playing Criminal Case on Facebook, case number 27, White Peaks of Pacific Bay. A couple things I'd like to talk about before we get into this is, one, Brazil is actually the number one most viewed on Pacific Bay. So congrats to you guys. If you guys are from Brazil, comment down below. You guys have almost 40% out of all the countries of views. Uh, thank you very much. I uh, also wanted to mention that you guys, um, that I'm doing uh, Plants vs. Zombies 2 on the side in between um, Criminal Case, and I was getting a lot of dislikes on those videos, but just to let you guys know that in order for me to, you know, get cash, do Criminal Case, have the um, authority to do it, and have all the time, um, I, I need, normally need those videos to do really well, so if you guys get a chance, go over there, like them. Um, it's had a really good turnaround recently, but just keep that in mind. Anyways, let's head on to the next case. So, always like and comment. I always appreciate dislikes actually hurt my videos and hurt my revenue stream. So, well, Commissioner Ace, how are you enjoying your stay in White Peak so far? How's your motel room? I'm loving this clean mountain air. Just smell those Douglas firs. I even saw a snowshoe rabbit from my motel window. Well, I don't know what you're so excited about, Andrea. There's way too much nature around here to suit me. Well, that's so you, Frank. You're pining for the car exhaust and noise. A real city slicker. Hey, I do like something in this podunk town. The pie. I ordered seven slices from room service last night. Still, I can't seem to find a bar around here. I think White Peaks was the dry district. And since we're not on duty yet, and it's 5 o'clock somewhere in the world, I was thinking of heading over to the timber mill and asking some of the men there if they know of a good watering hole. Want to come along and have a look around, Ace? Sure. There's probably nothing wrong with that. Although that makes me think that there's something wrong with that. <laughs> and my... my uh open invitation is always there so if you guys want to see my new wife a picture of her up in this area this area um, I would like at least 250 likes on a video so I've yet to get that so if we get 250 300 boom picture goes there you guys get to check her out oh my gosh it's like a oh. Ugh, just looks wrong. Fade card. Bear. Aha! I can mute. Uh, Christmas tree in yellow control box. For the love of booze, someone try to saw this woman in half. Oh, the saw is definitely the murder weapon. Just thinking about it makes me sick. Yeah, I feel you, man. I was the same way. I guess you're right. The killer must have touched the saw operation button. You'll get a sample off this clue in no time. You always do. And you found out a faded card with a message. It says, Paula, let's do lunch. Who says that anymore? And could Paula be the victim? Or someone who knew the victim? Only one way to find out who's on this card, Ace. I know you're just itching to do that unveiling magic you do to find more information. And of course, I'll make sure the body's into Roxy. I bet she'll be thrilled. Yeah, it looks a little gruesome. Anyways, guys, I've got to grab a whole bunch of stars when we get back here. So I will see you guys in a bit. I'm pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. Alright, folks, we're back. Let's examine the saw operation button. This is Ooh, nine, just barely nice. I hope you found something on that saw operation button, Ace. The killer must have touched it. It was a super fine powder, huh? Looks like coca, cocoa, but you couldn't pay me to drink it. I guess you're right, Ace. The only way to know for sure is to get that powder sample to yawn. It's probably like hot chocolate or something. Three hours, perfect. Alright, 
now let's get some suspects because we don't even know who the victim is hmm nice catch ace the card you found in the victim was a business card belonging to a certain ruthie sampson it says here that she's the director of tourism for logan's pass this tiny town has a tourism office you could have fooled me well, good call. We should go see if Ruthie Sampson can explain what her card was doing at the crime scene. Oh, she has nice blue eyes. She looks insane, but she's got cool blue eyes. Well, welcome to the Logan's Pass Tourism Office. I'm Ruthie Sampson. How can I help you explore the wonders of the best little town in White Peaks? Well, Miss Sampson, Commissioner Ace and I were, are with the Pacific Bay Police. We're wondering if you could help us identify this woman. Holy smokes, that's Paula Mail Mailer. I see now why she didn't show up to our rendezvous. She was a travel guide writer, and we were going to meet up to discuss how she could highlight Logan's past in her books on White Peaks. It was going to be the town's big break. If it helps, I can tell you that she was camping down by the river. But I appreciate it if you could keep this discreet with your investigation. If news outlets get a hold of the story, it could keep people from visiting Logan's past. We'll do our best, Miss Sampson. But our main focus is catching a killer and not public relations. But I agree, Commissioner Ace. The victim's campsite could hold a lot of clues. Let's go. I'll bet you anything that her book wasn't going to be a nice book. That almost seems too easy. Oh, and I got seven stars, which is why that popped up too. Okay, not much up here, a lot down here though. So we got a backpack, oh, that's pretty obvious. A snowman, a badge. Nice. We got the moon, blue cap, and a scarf right there. Not too shabby for a first time. 85% with the first uh First look, not too shabby. Did you find anything in the victim's camping supplies? Even I could have guessed that this backpack with Paul on it belongs to our victim. Hey, Ace, so if you want to rummage through our victim's backpack, be my guest. Is that trinket a badge? It says police, an RCMP. You think RCMP stands for Royal Canadian Mounted Police? Oh yeah, those are the Canadian cops. Mounties, right? The ones with the horses and goofy hats. You never catch me in that clown outfit. Well, of course, Ace. Mounties are real law enforcement officers just like us. But what could a Canadian Mountie be doing in White Peaks? Well, I can't make out the badge number, but I'm sure you can find it so we can track this Mountie down. Yeah, I know. I need to be able to find it. Let's search through this. And then we're going to have to put it together. We found a torn card in the victim's belongings. Why would she hang on to that? I know, I know, this card's suspicious, but your famous puzzle solving skills will get us some juicy info, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure it will. How are you dinner? Thank you, you, you saved my life. Huh. Well, that torn card you found in our victim's belongings was the thank you card. It says, you saved my life, Judd Tucker. I owe you dinner, Paula. Some guy named Judd Tucker, holy crap. Saved the victim's life. That didn't last long. We're gonna go talk to him, I agree. This Judd guy may have been out one of the last people to see Paula alive. Okay, he looks like he is scary and dangerous. It's not a C, it's gotta be what, G? No? It actually is a C? It's gotta be an E. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got one of them right. See, that's why I let you do the smarty pants work. It only took you seconds to decipher this Canadian police badge number. Mounties. They say they always get their man, but this was one's way out of his jurisdiction. You're right, Ace. Hannah can trace the badge number. She'll tell us who this badge belongs to. Heck yeah, 
give us a good suspect too. Ooh, nine hours. All right. What's up, Judd Tucker? Hey, Paula kept that card, as if I had time to have dinner with stupid tourists. Well, settle down, big guy. What's with the insult? She seemed truly grateful. That card says you saved her life. I almost wish I hadn't. That idiot wandered into a part of the forest where we were cutting down trees. She had no clue where she was. I about killed myself running to push her out of the way of a falling tree. Then came the incident report paperwork. She stopped our work for hours. I didn't meet my quota. My pay is probably going to be docked thanks to her. Paula gave me this invitation to dinner after I clocked out. I tore it up and threw it in her face. She was such a ditz. Well, she's also dead, Mr. Tucker. Someone tried to saw her in half. And what we do find at her campsite, a dinner invitation from a lumberjack. Pretty suspicious. Hey, hey, you got the wrong end of the stick here. I wasn't the president of her fan club, sure, but I'd never kill her. Or anyone. Anyways, guys, we're going to wait a little bit of time. See you guys all later. I'm pitching 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, and we are back. Playing Criminal Case on Facebook, case number 27 of Pacific Bay. We are in White Peaks. Let's get on with the rest of the game. Anyways, let's use cash on this. 30. It's dwindling. Hey there, Ace. Any more trouble at the mill? I sure hope not, because the victim has told me a lot about her killer. The cutting stopped just above the victim's heart, but by then the damage was done. Her car caroid artery had already been severed. Looks as though the killer might have had a change of heart after turning the timber saw on, but it was too late. And we also know the victim was tied up with a double constrictor knot. This type of knot is impossible to escape and is often used on animals, including humans. Okay, so we have a killer with expert knot making skills. Thanks, Ro Roxy. That's just a little creepy. <coughs> Oh, hey there, Ace. This badge you found at the victim's campsite is the real deal, and it belongs to a very real Mountie. His name is Brian McKenzie. Why does that name sound familiar? His superior officer said that, said that Mr. McKenzie is on vacation visiting Logan's Pass. And on top of that, I double-checked the registry at the campsite and saw that McKenzie's tent was right next to the victim's. Well, if this Mountie character really was her next-door neighbor, he may be able to tell us a little bit more about Paula. I think time for a little talk. I agree, Ace. Oh, definitely. Commissioner Ace, how can I help my fellow law enforcement officers to the south today? We came to return your badge and hopefully get some few a few answers. We're investigating the murder of Paula Mailer. Did you know her well? Her murder? Who would want to kill Paula? Well, I knew her, of course. She was my neighbor at the campsite, and I make a point of always getting to know my neighbors. Oh, how sweet. What can you tell us about her? Was she having trouble with anyone around here? Well, Paula was her own worst enemy, if you get my meaning. She needed a lot of assistance. For someone writing about camping, she was pretty clueless about the subject. Uh, but I feel awful speaking ill of her now. How could I be such a monster? You're almost a little too goody-goody, man. I have to congratulate you, Ace. The dark powder you found on the saw operation button would have been easy to gloss over, but nothing escapes your eagle eyes. The powder was actually spores from... Aggregaceous silver cola? Aggregaceous suva huasa? Who's a what? Some kind of Roman emperor? Not even close. The powder comes from a wood mushroom, Frank. They're easy to find under pine trees around here. And there's no doubt the killer has had contact with wood mushrooms, given how fresh the spores are. How the heck are we supposed to know that? Wow, Ace, this sure is turning out to be a more eventful day than I had planned. All I wanted was some gold stag. But instead, we got another victim, a woman tied to a timber saw table and almost sawed in half. Judd Tucker looks like an ideal killer, what with being a lumberjack, but this thank you card shows how he saved our victim. And the last appointment the victim had was with the tourism office director, Ruthie Sampson. Maybe she wants Logan's Pass on the map at any price. And I don't know about you, but that Brian McKenzie is too good to be true. People haven't acted that polite since the 1950s. Oh, thank goodness I found you, Commissioner A. Something horrible has happened. There's been a sighting of the Nightwalker. Oh, crap. Again? Oh, wow. All right, guys. Well, make sure to like, comment down below. I'll see you guys later. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.